Okay, today is uh, Saturday, February the uh, 24th, 2024, and uh, this is a part two update for uh, Saturday. Uh, we're looking at the uh, water vapor map for the uh, Eastern Pacific, and uh, we can see that uh, we have a, uh, this is actually a closed low from the surface all the way up to the 300 millibar level right here. And uh, on the surface pressure map, we can see that, we'll take a look at that, but there's a, an occluded front, which is this, that's, uh, this is a satellite transmitter generated uh, area of higher pressure, which is uh, preventing the, the uh, portion of the jet stream from being sucked into the vortex. And so uh, the weather controllers utilize this tool here to, to steer jet stream moisture. And uh, we can see that this area here, this dark area, is the higher pressure. There's no condensation right adjacent to the vortex right there. And um, we can also see odd formations of uh, straight edges and so forth at different times during this uh, eight-hour loop. And... Uh, <clears throat> and so here, this is the current map, and so we're seeing plenty of uh, tropical moisture swinging around. Here's Hawaii coming up and moving right into uh, a portion of Central California and also Southern California into Nevada. We saw a lot of chemtrail aerosol spraying today. Uh, it should have been raining, but the uh, the spigot is off, and the forecast for rain. Uh, for uh, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday has uh, apparently been called off by the weather controllers. So this is going to be uh, rather interesting because you see here on these pressure maps, let's just look at the, the surface map. Uh, we can see that uh, right here, this is a closed low, but we have high pressure installed right off California. And if we take a look at the uh, the Ocean Prediction Center map right here, we can see that uh, low pressure depicted right here with the purple occluded front, and we have this high pressure right here, 1,014 millibar. Actually, right here is, the, the, is 1,018 right here, and that is blocking, uh, you know, this, this low from moving in and uh, bringing much greater chances of, of rainfall. So we've got high pressure. There's a low depicted here, but... Uh, once you get on the map, it's uh, it's uh, shown there. It's, we've got high pressure right here, and that is uh, between that and the aerosol spraying <clears throat> at the surface level, and also at the uh, at the 300 millibar level, which is right here. We see a closed low, but the spraying and the uh, barometric pressure, which currently is at 29.97 is not going to uh, allow for rain. Now this all may change. I just don't think that we're gonna get rain. Uh, uh, currently we have 51 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 71% and we have a dew point at 42 degrees. And uh, so these pressure maps indicate a, a, a well-organized uh, weather system. And uh, this, this is the 500 millibar map. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the 300, which is right here. And uh, there it is. So we've got a closed low from the surface all the way up to the 300 millibar level. And yet, uh, no rain. Let's go ahead and look at the water vapor map once again. We see this uh, installed area of, of high pressure right around that vortex. That's preventing condensation. It's regulating the pressure of this uh, system right here. This is how they work with hurricanes too. You know, if, if they just, uh, if they if they superheat right adjacent to the vortex, they can keep a rotating mass spinning, but they can precisely regulate the, uh, the barometric pressure. And of course, the barometric pressure determines the strength of the weather system. And if you're dealing with uh, you know, once again, it gets into the gambling. This is all about money, the weather derivatives and options. I keep referring back to this, but this is what happens when 
uh, countries, suckers that buy these uh, hurricane bonds and catastrophic bonds, they don't realize that in the fine print, it stipulates that if a pressure, if, if the storm's pressure is raised, you know, up to say, uh, you know, 965 millibars or 975 or some some arbitrary number, then the uh, then the then the uh, the bond doesn't pay off. And of course, when these Cat Five hurricanes move in to Mexico or some other place in the Gulf of Mexico or wherever it may be. Uh, and the, bar the barometric pressure is raised uh, as that storm moves in, then, then you know, but beyond the stipulated pressure in the contract, then, then it doesn't pay off. I know I've mentioned that before, but it's worth mentioning again because this is how the game is played. And right here we see uh, great evidence of how jet streams are steered right here. They've got this strange high pressure, uh, you know, uh, I call it a, an electronic fence. That's basically what it is. It's been generated by, uh, you know, satellite transmitters up in space, which, you know, this spans, uh, you know, a few thousand miles right here. There's, here's Hawaii right here. It's about almost 3,000 miles from from the uh, mainland over here to the Hawaiian Islands, and yet we see this huge area of, uh, of, uh, of dry air. And that is preventing the jet stream from being sucked into that vortex. See, normally, higher pressure always flows into low pressure. And you can see that happening right, right there. And watch this area maintain this. Uh, there it goes. You can see some condensation developing right there. Let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the long wave IR map. We can kind of see what, what is going on. Earlier in the day, there was this area that was uh, targeted right here where some of this uh, tropical moisture was getting sucked back into that vortex, but they, the weather controllers split this area up and, and the, you know, the, the bulk of it went right into Southern California. And that's why we're seeing, there it is right there, you see it. I'll have to watch that again. Let it refresh here. See that uh, right there, and then you see a lot of evaporation. But yet we have all this moving in today, all day Saturday, and and uh, there was uh, no no precipitation. I don't have the Doppler map pulled up right now, but there's no rain occurring anywhere in the state. Spigots off. And once again, the Ocean Prediction Center, we have that high right here adjacent to a closed low from the surface all the way up to 300 millibar level. And uh, so probably no rain. It's uh, pretty much been canceled. Here we are. This is the uh, ocean temperature map, the surface uh, pressure, or the surface uh, sea temperature map, sea surface temperature map. There we go. And this ranges from about 50, 51 degrees up to about 64 degrees, 63, 64 from this area here down to here. And here's Southern California. That gives you an idea of what's happening with the uh, sea surface temperature. So this is just a, a quick update uh, showing you what's going on. We had a rain forecast all week, and now it's it's uh, been apparently canceled and you can see exactly what's happening here there's an occluded front shown on the on the, uh, the surface analysis map you should never see this in a low pressure system this is something that nobody talks about on television none of the people on YouTube talk about it all these weather people they're just filling us full of crap going along to get along you know you can make money doing weather videos on on um, on YouTube but I've never taken a penny doing any of this work. Not not a single cent. But there it is, an, an occluded front right in the middle of a low pressure system, 999 millibar, it's indicated as. And uh, there's an arrow pointing towards the uh, to the east, towards the California coast. Blow this up, we can see that. 
This is the Southern California coastline right here. There aren't any weather people on TV that show you these surface maps and, and discuss what's happening. Uh, they just, it just doesn't happen. It's all cartoon animated graphics. And they do that for a reason. So there it is. Uh, we'll just leave it right here. And uh, this this should be bringing plenty of, of, there should be condensation all the way around this uh, rotating vortex. You can see the right angle imprints. This is a being manipulated by a satellite transmitter. And that same transmitter is also keeping a, a, a broad area of, of uh, dry air and higher pressure right here, which is steering the jet stream. I've talked about that numerous times. Here's we have some other low pressure developing out here, uh, with circulating vortex trying to develop, and that's all being uh, manipulated as well. You can see small right angles. The, the you know, speaking of right angle imprints on weather systems, the, these weather controllers are being very careful in the last three years. Uh, there it is right there. You can see a, a, a box shaped imprint evaporate right there. These guys are being very careful about. Uh, you know, um, showing these imprints that really show up on in the water vapor map because there's really no way to explain that away. So they've been very careful and re-engineered their software uh, that uh, is, is manipulating these satellites, controlling the satellites, the transmission uh, duty cycles, the, the RF duty cycles, the laser pulse, uh, the pulse to uh, power from the lasers. All of that's been modified so that these, these imprints are not as visible on these maps. Let me turn the contrast down here. You can see this better. There we go. So we got a lot of spraying in the skies today. Um, and I mentioned, uh, you know, the humidity is, is, is at 71 right now, 71%. Uh, Barometers at 29.97. So we'll just keep an eye on things and uh, we'll, we'll try to get more updates, more frequent updates. But uh, pretty much everything is, the weather is, is, is doing what it's done. Uh, the people controlling the weather, nothing has changed. Uh, the jets are up spraying. Uh, you know, the place is just, uh, the country, the world is uh, not in charge. Of, <laughs> the countries are not in charge of their own destiny. We have, we have a, a, a small group of people evil people that are controlling weather, they're manipulating uh, stock markets and uh, a lot of other things. So just hang tough and uh, we'll try to get another update here real soon, okay? That's it.